So for all my guys out there that might be a little bit shorter than average or you just have a suit that's a little bit too big for you, you and you want to slim down, slimming the sleeve is one of the next steps you're going to want to take after you've done other such slimming. So for my guys who may be a little bit short in stature or just have a suit that just needs slimmed down and think that the sleeves are too baggy on their suit, that's what we're going to cover today and we are going to show you how to take your suit sleeves and taper them. Now this actually covers two folds. So if you shorten your sleeves a lot, a lot of the times it gets a lot wider up here because your arm isn't fitting where the ideal elbow is supposed to be. So you're going to have a blouse to your opening on your sleeve. So you might want to slim that down. Also, if you are a shorter guy and you shorten your sleeves more than like three inches, sometimes you don't have enough to remake a placket in your sleeve. So this is also going to be the method on how to remake a placket while also slimming them. It's kind of the same thing. You got to do it if you want to make a placket. Well, let's get into the fitting stage. Now for you, sleeves might be a little bit bigger than this. This actually isn't too bad if you're looking for a more full classic fit. But after measuring some other suit sleeves that I have, this is about an inch off. So, and that's actually how I mark it. You can take it where you pin it in yourself, but I find that that method is not always the best. What I like to do is I like to take the jacket that I want to shorten, measure the sleeve opening in the elbow point, and compare that with a set of sleeves that I already like, uh, and I just transfer those measurements over. That way I have a more precise measurement on what I'm taking in. Uh, and from the ones that I have at home that I really like, it's about an inch off. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be taking an inch in here, and about a half an inch here, and then tapering it right back in to the shoulder. Another thing to keep in mind is when you're slimming sleeves, it is uber duper important. Let me just lay this down and show it to you this way. Like I was saying, uber duper important that you only slim it from this side of the sleeve. Going in from the inside seam is a mistake because what you'll do is the sleeve will not wrap around your arm properly. It is a lot easier to follow this and recreate this seam than it is here. It's just gonna make your sleeve look weird. So only take it in the back. And then other than that, it's pretty much just your typical sleeve shortening on top. You're gonna have to remove all the sleeves. <laughs> You're gonna have to remove all of the buttons, remove the lining, open it all up. You're gonna have to redo the whole sleeve. So if you're doing this for a customer, typically I include the cost of doing sleeves in slimming because you're doing sleeves anyway. It's an extra step on top of slimming. So if someone needs their, short, their sleeve shortened as well as slimmed, I usually give them a deal because I'm doing it both anyways. Otherwise, you gotta charge them for the sleeve shortening because that's your time. So here we are with the sleeve completely deconstructed and inside out. We've got the placket side facing the end of the buck and this is where we're going to press it open, this seam out here, and then we're going to mark how much we want to take it in all the way up there. as far up as we can into the arm. And then this is the seam we're going to follow over on the machine. Thank you. 
now that you have all of the stitching taken out, we're gonna go over and press open that seam on the iron. I'm gonna use one of these so that I can slide it in and I don't have to worry about wrinkling the entire sleeve while trying to press it. <laughs> So as far as making a placket goes, it's pretty straightforward. As you see here, I took in all this extra material. And if you shortened it short enough to where you don't have this extra material, because if you have this extra material, you don't need to make a placket. So your front, your end of the sleeve will look like this more often than not. So all you're going to do is you would just go down about like six inches or so, and you'd make a snip right in here and right in here very similar to how it is here. I haven't recreated the snip since I've opened it, but you can get that to focus. You can see how that was cut previously. I'm gonna recut that in. You're gonna just recut that in your new placket, and then that will allow you to have two flaps up top, similar to this, that you can then fold over and have a placket and have like a false sense of a flap there. Uh, and you don't have to worry about it just being two straight seams, like almost like a tuxedo jacket. Um, and then, yeah, and then if you have a lot of material that you took in, I don't know if I said this or not, you can cut down the side so that it's slimmer like this. You don't want a whole bunch of fabric just pulling up on the inside of your sleeve. And this is what it looks like once I actually finally snipped the fabric. Right at that joint where the placket comes together, it's where you want to make that snip. Uh, I skipped past the part of just re-putting the sleeve together because I've already made a video on how to put a set of sleeves back together. If you want to check that out, I will link it up here. Um, but all I'm going to do now is press it, put the buttons on, and I'm going to show you how much better this fits. Oh, also make sure that you press this out seam um, so that it lays nice and smooth. Sometimes you can get some puckers up into the transition area like that, and you want to clean all that out. So what are we looking at? I know the quality isn't the best for this footage and this angle, but we're looking at the opening of the sleeve and the transition into the shoulder, which I'm very happy with both. So I'm ready to move on from this project. And guys, that is it. That is how you taper and finish off a sleeve on your own. You can do this on a home sewing machine. I did it at the shop just because it was convenient. I was already here. I was wearing this jacket and I was like, you know what? Let's try and taper the arms for you guys. Hopefully you found this informative. If you like it, make sure that you subscribe, follow, share. It gets this out to more people. Also, if you have a question, feel free to text me. You can now text me directly now. Um, that phone number is 1 plus 1. 814-205-0833. So hit me up there or any of the other social media guys. Thank you for watching and keep on sewing.